In this video I'll introduce Logic's multipressor and how you can use it to split signal in separate bands. Here's a sample I will be using. Now I can press X to open Mixer and add Multipressor plugin from Dynamics section. Multipressor is a multiband compressor. It splits the incoming signal into different frequency bands, up to four, and enables independent compression of each band. You can drag the edges of a band to the left or right to set the crossover frequencies. Before I show you how this plugin works with Dynamics, let's briefly look at the difference between compression and expansion. If you look at any audio, you can identify its loudest transients and quietest. The difference between those two points is called dynamic range and is measured in loudness units. In simple words, compression affects loud transients and brings them down, thus decreasing dynamics. Expansion, on the other hand, detects quiet parts and is able to make them quieter, so the dynamic range is increased. Now let's go back to logic and explore compression first. All four bands have identical set of parameters. To better see how it works, let's focus on one and disable others. Basically it ducks the volume like any other compressor. Only thing to keep in mind is that the attack and release are shared between compression and expansion. But they have separate threshold controls. Now let's hear what expansion does to this sample. This example is extreme, but you can clearly hear how it's trying to make quiet parts even quieter. Now let's close this and move to another sample, where I'm going to show you how you can use this plugin to separate frequency bands for mixing. Here's a drum loop that I will be using. As you can see I have added multiple buses, and if you haven't seen my previous video I recommend you pause this and go check it out first so you can understand how it's routed. My first end bus has multiplessor already inserted, so let's open that, and here I'm going to disable the fourth band, I will be using just three of them. Next I can solo the first band, so we can hear low frequencies only. I'm going to repeat this process with the second bus. Hold Option and drag it to copy. On this bus I will solve mid frequencies. Let's do it once more. And solo high frequencies, or the third band. Now we can combine all three send buses, and we should be able to hear original sample, but spread across three tracks. Sounds good. With three tracks you have the ability to process each band separately. For example, my low end is shared by enveloper with overdrive. I added stereo width to the mid frequencies, and some distortion for warmth. and some compression with reverb to high end. Now let's hear how it all comes together and adjust dry signal balance. Sounds great. I can AB before and after. Here I have gained much dry sound so we can compare them. Since we have three separate bands, we can use faders as EQ. I like that. Now let's hear it with the other part, and switch between dry and wet.
I tend to use multiplayer thread this way more often than its compression and expansion. Overall, it's a great tool, and you have just learned new way of mixing.